Day number four. It's going quickly and I'm a little tired, but it's fun. Today, Jesse and, and uh, Mitch are leaving, which despite our best efforts, we couldn't convince them to stay any longer. We're hoping it is a little easier than day three. We have some trail to tackle in the morning here, about nine miles of uh, rough terrain, and then we're back into Umatilla National Forest. And hopefully once we get there, it'll uh, clear up a little bit. So, so it's a little easier today. Each passing day reveals new challenges, breathtaking views, and trail we've never seen before. We are roughly 550 miles through the voyage ahead. Our destination? Unknown. We decided to let the trail dictate the pace of the day and let the end point be a mystery. Okay, as usual, adventure ensues. We're not blazing our own trail because there's definitely tracks here, but they're very, very faint. Um, I'm going to guide the guides through here on foot and uh, hopefully we'll be able to navigate our way through all this. Yeah, the trail kind of dead ends and there's a lot of thick trees and stuff falling so there's this field off to the left and it kind of cuts around and then you can kind of see where the trail goes back up and continues on so glad we don't have to reroute right now. It's all too easy to gain a false sense of security on the trail, but the mellow path never lasts long and the inevitable obstacle always seems to slow our way. We were moving slow, somewhere in the Ukiah Dale State Forest in north central Oregon. Jesse and Mitch had made their way home and we were crawling our way toward Idaho. Finding out the modifications necessary for the vehicles was what this trip was about, and we realized that leveling the Ranger suspension wasn't going to give us enough clearance for the journey ahead of us next summer. So we're going to um, attempt to winch Kobe backwards off of a front mounted winch. I've seen this done before, but we've never actually tried it. So we have the winch here, which connects to a tree here, and then also a tree back here. And then we have it coming back to his bumper and then hooked to this tree strap here. So when we tighten that out, theoretically what should happen is we're gonna pull the slack out of that V. It worked just well enough to get the Ranger backed up, and with the miles passing slow, we pushed on in hopes of some easier miles ahead.
stopped in the small town of Ukiah today to stop and get gas and, uh, and grab a bite to eat. We are here at The Thicket. It is the only restaurant in Ukiah, Oregon. So we're here grabbing um, a couple of uh, elk burgers for me, Kobe, and Troy um, to get some good old protein in us and then back on the trail. We spent the rest of the day making up miles, and with daylight fading, it was time to find camp and unwind for the evening. the final end of day four. We're rounding halfway of our expedition. Covered a little bit of ground today. I think we did about 110, 113 miles today. And it's proving to be fun and difficult at the same time, I think. Good day though. I'm glad to be back in the mountains. And uh, yeah. Day five. Numero cinco. I think that's the Spanish way to say it. The days seem long, but the time's gone by quick. Should be fun, looking forward to it, and uh, the adventure pursues. pulled off on this trail and um, when we pulled off we didn't see any no trespassing signs but as we're pulling through there's no trespassing signs posted so we're going to turn around and head back. I think we're going to go into Baker City and just refuel or resupply, um, spend some time going over the rigs and making sure everything's in tip top shape. We headed into civilization for the first time since our departure, and although the trail is our home, we were more than happy to be heading into civilization for some modern convenience. We are at Pisano's Pizza in Baker City, Oregon, and we stopped to grab a drink and some pizza. Currently here they have the Pizza Challenge, which if you can eat one of their giant 24-inch uh, pizzas, uh, in 30 minutes, you not only get your pizza for free, but you win $100. So, we're gonna order a giant pizza anyways and see if three of us can finish it. Simple pleasures, simple pleasures. With Kobe's tire fixed, our tanks and stomachs full, we headed on down the trail carefree and ready for the next obstacle to come our way. over a little early early today to do kind of a visual inspection of both the rigs. When I was looking over mine I noticed some grease on the tire and so upon further inspection my steering control arm that attaches to the the hub there um, there's two studs that are missing and it looks a little loose so we're gonna have to go back to looks like Baker City tomorrow to uh, see if we can get those wheel studs replaced. Today is day five coming to an end. Um, it was pretty uneventful. Kind of an interesting day. Not much really eventful happened today. We stayed with three of us, me, Jason, Troy. Um, we saw a lot of really cool scenery. That was probably the highlight for my day, is we got some really cool shots on some big, uh, just open valleys. With, they were kind of, you know, had some plains and some cool trees and then some big old, big old rocks. We did like an eight mile reroute this morning. It's kind of becoming uh, the, the name of the game. 
Um, <clears throat> the route we plotted was from home, so this is feet on the ground, and what we're figuring out is uh, stuff doesn't go through all the time or roads are closed, and uh, the best research you can do is, is not quite good enough. Um, so um, we did that eight mile reroute this morning, uh, make it, made it to Baker City. Uh, two, three days ago, I popped that valve stem on my uh, rear passenger tire. So we called Les Schwab, and, and then we went and got some pizza from some crazy pizza place, and we had, no joke, the pizza was this big round, two feet in diameter. Left Baker City, hit the trail again, um, hit some gnarly spot on the trail and decided that probably wasn't really worth trying to push through tonight so we decided to kind of backtrack a little bit and pull off and uh, camp for the night. However when we came back to camp and started uh, going through the vehicles and doing a visual inspection on everything we realized that uh, there was some grease on my tire and so upon further inspection um, I realized that I'm missing two studs um, out of the steering arm and uh, so we actually were gonna have to backtrack a little bit in the morning uh, to try and find a toilet dealership to see if we can get those. We're having fun nonetheless, this is what it's about. Stuck to be out here, and uh, yeah, just hanging out tonight, so OTO out. So I'm gonna make it my goal this trip to pee on every single one of Kobe's tires. Uh, we went on a camping trip a couple months ago, and I peed on one of them. Um, and so I'm gonna try and get the, the other three and take pictures of them so that when he's confused, I can show him the pic pictures later and know that it was me.